Hi everyone, my name is Sean McKenzie and this is the SIGAR demo on supporting interoperability between open source search engines with the common index file format. This is work done with Jimmy Lin, Chris Camflus, Craig McDonald, Antonio Malia, Mihal Shedlicek, Andrew Trotman and Ian DeVries. So the main focus of this paper is on reproducibility and replicability and in particular we're interested in how we can make comparisons between different search engines more fair. So for example, IR researchers are often trying to compare systems head to head and this might include effectiveness studies where you have a new ranking technique or different versions of a ranking technique such as query expansion and you're interested in seeing how the effectiveness differs across different systems. You might also be interested in efficiency studies where you have again two different systems or two or more systems and you're interested in comparing uh, how efficiently they can process queries. And these are just two basic examples. The problem we face is that fair comparisons are often very difficult due to a number of subtle reasons. And the most obvious one is that both efficiency and effectiveness depend on mundane decisions such as system configurations and implementation details. One very obvious example is how the underlying parsing, stemming and stopping affects both efficiency and effectiveness in search engines. So as a toy example, we have a raw string here and we have four example systems which index this string in totally different ways. So while you could compare the outcome of running these different systems, it doesn't seem entirely fair to do so. Our contribution in this demo is to show two different approaches to improve the fairness of comparing uh, information retrieval systems side by side. One approach is based on index wrappers and the other is what we call the common index file format. So the first approach index wrappers, let's assume that we have a system A and system A has indexed a corpus that we're interested in doing experiments on. So it already has the postings lists and the metadata and all of the information you need to run queries. And let's assume that we have some other system B and we have the system ready, but the system hasn't done any indexing yet. If we wanted to compare system A and system B fairly, the index wrapper approach involves writing an interface such that system B uh, can call functions which will return data out of the index from system A. So essentially this interface allows system B to grab uh, postings lists and metadata and things like that which it needs to process queries and this is done through a simple API. The problem with the index wrapper approach as you might have thought of by now is that if we have multiple systems that we want to compare and we want it to be a fair comparison then we need to write uh, an interface between every system and every other system if we want to do comparisons um, against all systems. So this is a quadratic explosion um, of programming effort that needs to be undertaken to, to achieve this. So looking at the second approach, what we call the common index file format or SIF for short, the idea here is to make a definition of the bare minimum information required to facilitate, in our case, bag of words retrieval. And we use Google protocol buffers to define this format as you can see on the right. So protocol buffers are just a language neutral, platform neutral, extensible mechanism for serializing structured data. So the main idea is that we've just defined a common format which different systems can read and write. And by using protobufs, uh, the compiler generates an API which allows you to access the data in a principled way. Uh, and we've experimented with this across multiple languages including C++, Python, Java and Rust. So protobuf um, is a pretty good, pretty robust approach here. So the main idea with SIF is that we have system A and we do the indexing as before and then we run a tool which will generate uh, a version of this index in the SIF format. So the protobuf format is used to dump the index essentially into what we call is SIF or it's a, just a, a large blob basically of data. And then we write an ingestion engine for B which can uh, read this SIF data 
and then it can create its own index structure. So this is just a different way of sharing the internal postings from system A and B. As you might have imagined, in this case, uh, multi-system comparisons are much easier because we can use system A to generate a single SIF, which all other indexes on systems uh, can read. So in this case, we can write an ingestion for system B, system C, and system D, and they can all essentially use the same index for their experimentation. It's not necessary to have system A generating the SIF file either. You could create uh, a SIF dump from any of these systems, and as long as you had the SIF reader, you could read it again on any system. So um, in this case, we're using system B as our primary index, and we're sharing um, its indexes with system A, system C, and system D. So comparing these two approaches, wrappers versus SIF, we can see that wrappers allow direct access to pre-built index structures. So for example, if you already have a Lucene index uh, and you have a wrapper, you don't need to build another index. The wrapper can essentially access directly into the Lucene structure. Whereas SIF requires a total read and re-index step for each target system. Using wrappers, as mentioned before, requires a quadratic number of interfaces to support interoperability between n systems, so it becomes expensive very quickly. Whereas SIF requires each system to build an ingester, and each primary requires an exporter, so the primary is the system that will do the indexing. A few quick experiments. We use two collections, Robusto 4 and Kalu of 12b. In the following experiments, we always use Ansarini as our primary, which means that Ansarini conducts all indexing operations for both corpuses. We also look at JASU E2, PISA, Old Dog, and Terrier. The first experiment involved building a wrapper such that Terrier could read Lucene indexes. I'm not going to go into detail here, but the top third of the table shows the native Ansarini run, the middle third of the table shows the native Terrier runs, and the bottom third of the table shows Terrier uh, accessing Lucene's indexes through a wrapper. And this experiment looks at both BM25 and query expansion. We also have a large experiment which looks at using SIF uh, from an Ansarini index, and we compare the native document processing pipelines of JASV2, PISA, and Terrier um, with the common index file format uh, runs using the same uh, systems. Breaking this table down to make it more understandable, we can look at Robusto4. And so what we're showing here, a black descending line uh, shows the per query scores for Ansarini sorted in descending order from most effective to least effective. And we're looking at AP here. And each red point is the per query uh, score for the same corresponding query for all of the native systems. So what we can see is that the points that are quite far away from the black line, there's something much different going on in the native search engine compared to Ansarini. Now when we add in the SIF index instead of the native index, what we can see is that uh, we reduce a lot of this variance. So what this means is that we're accounting for a lot of the differences between the document indexing pipelines. There are still a few points that are um, off the line. Um, so SIF can't solve all discrepancies, but it gets us closer to doing so. So in summary, we explored two methods of sharing indexes between open source IR systems. The first was based on index wrappers, and the second is the common index file format. Both, met both methods have pros and cons, and we recommend SIF as a low effort approach. We also make our SIF indexes available for use in future experimentation. So if you don't want to go out and write your own indexer, you can just go and grab the SIF, and you can write an ingester and start using uh, the SIF indexes in your own search engine. So thanks for listening. I'll be in a virtual discussion at 5 a.m. Beijing time on the 28th. Otherwise, you can feel free to email me and there is some code and examples available on the GitHub. Uh, and thanks for listening.